Ah, oh, we had pulled a nearly full vacuum on two 67-foot-long tank cars and achieved bupkis, nothing. In desperation, we dropped a 3,200-pound concrete block on it and left a huge dent. Not a recommended technique for proper care and feeding of a tank car, and yet it seemed to do the trick because at 23 inches of mercury, that tank car folded like Jamie's proverbial house of cards, like this. Boom. Here, wait, play my sound effect over the actual thing. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Just like that. It was beautiful. It looks like a big plastic bag that got deflated yeah. or something, but it's friggin' thick steel. And for it to do that, it's physics. <laughs> they finally got the implosion they were looking for. But they had to stack the deck so far in favor of a failure, this one's going to be difficult to call. Well, this one was a bear. How do you want to call it? Well, I, I think the myth as stated, we have to conclude based on the evidence that it's busted. Your average tank car, even under an impressive amount of vacuum pressure, isn't going to implode. Agreed, but if it's dented or corroded or otherwise compromised, it could happen. Spectacularly so. OK, let's get the hell out of here. OK. We need one of those pumper cars. Yes! I totally want one.